If you just started entertaining the idea of a gap year for next year, or if you are unsure if it is right for you, take a listen to this episode where we're going to dive into some of the reasons why it's a great idea to take a gap year in 2022-2023. people sharing their stories, ideas, and experts diving deep into how you can make the right decisions in order to have a meaningful gap year. This is the place to be no matter where you are on your gap year journey. I'm Michelle Dittmer, your resident gap year expert. Let's jump right in. And welcome to the Gap Year Podcast. My name is Michelle Dittmer and I am your host and Gap Year expert. Today I want to talk about what the advantages of taking a gap year in 2022-2023 really are. A gap year is a good idea no matter what decade you are in and whether there's a pandemic going on or not. A gap year is a really great decision. But let's talk about something that's really specific to the place and time that we're in right now. Um, Especially right now, there are some really common present day challenges that have been amplified or ignited by the exhaustion of a two plus year pandemic. A 2022-2023 gap year is all about reclaiming your life. It's about finding a sense of control, feeling like you're moving yourself forward towards your own goals. It's about having fun. It's about being adventurous and developing in the process some real world skills that are going to help you to become an adult. So let's talk about some of the really concrete reasons why it makes sense to take a gap year for the next upcoming academic year. So it makes sense. Let's talk about three primary ones. So the first one is that we need to find excitement again. And I don't take this lightly. I think it's really important that we acknowledge how burnt out we are as a society and as individuals, and I'll own it. I'm feeling it. We all are feeling it in some way, whether that's burnt out from our studies, whether that's burnt out from caring for a loved one, whether it's burnt out from online school, whether it is burnt out from the lack of social interaction, whatever it is, there's something that is causing us all to feel really exhausted right now and everything is feeling a little bit harder than it should be. So, You have just spent the last couple of years powering through high school and you have survived a global pandemic. And while I'm not here to give you a pep talk, you've had enough of those talks about resilience. What you've done has been hard. And I think we could all use a vacation right now. We could all use some time to refocus on the things that we enjoy and to make some space for happiness, excitement, and hope. So I think that we need something that is going to help us jump out of the bed in the morning and get us excited and revved up for the day or for the week or for the month or the year even. We need something that is going to give us something different. And it's going to be different for every single person. What is it for you? Would it be learning to skydive or buying your own car or traveling somewhere warm to learn to surf. Everybody's got something. Maybe it's learning a new language or you've always wanted to start a business and maybe now is the time to give it a go. Maybe that's something that would be different enough from what you've experienced over the last two years. 
We don't want more Groundhog Day. We don't want the same old thing every single day. And having been a student for the last 14 years, maybe it's time to take a break and to flex some other muscles because we want to be able to say that this upcoming year is going to be one for the books. It's going to be something that's exciting for you and something that is going to revitalize you and so that you can find that pep that maybe you've lost. And not only will that be good for you on your gap year, but that energy you can also carry forward into your studies after your gap year. Being reinvigorated, re-inspired to do other things will also make you reinvigorated and re-inspired to be a student when the time comes. So I think one of the things that we can really see happening in 2022-2023 is that reconnection with excitement and fun and vitality that we really, really need to bring back into our lives. The second reason that a 2022-2023 gap year makes sense is gaining a sense of financial independence. And I hear this coming up a lot. So some folks have financial need and they need to work really hard and get lots of money to pay for school because school is expensive. While others are just looking to reduce the student debt coming out the other end of it. So they want to to lower the burden. And still yet some are just looking to get become financially independent from their parents and Earning money on your gap year is a fantastic way to spend your time. And I would say that the majority of gappers spend the majority of their gap year working. So if you think that a gap year is strapping on a backpack and traveling the world and spending tens of thousands of dollars, you would be mistaken. Um, Most people do spend the majority of their time working, either saving up for school or saving up for some sort of travel experience later on in the year. Now, I don't want to take finances lightly, so I I did a little bit of poking around. And did you know that the average student debt in Canada is $26,000, which is a ton of money? So $26,000 is the average for people who did their undergraduate degree. Now, I also did a little bit of math because I'm a nerd like that, and I wanted to know what it would look like if you worked full-time on your gap year. What what would your earnings come out to be? So remember the average student debt is $26,000. If you were to work for minimum wage, let's say in Ontario, $14 an hour, if you were able to do that full-time, so 40 hours a week, for 52 weeks of the year, so you wouldn't get very many breaks, but we'll just go with this for calculation's sake, you could earn $29,000. So you would essentially have the money that most people have in student debt in a bank account. Now that's not to say that you won't have to work over your summers between university or have a part-time job during those um, the, the evenings and weekends while you're at school, but you can put a really, really good dent in the cost of school by spending your time working on your gap year. So you can do this by getting multiple jobs or finding a full-time gig or looking for a paid internship. And all of this will help you financially. But beyond financially, it will also help you build some incredible skills uh, that will help you in your your transition into adulthood. and, And it will help you with your time management and help you to build connections and network and and gain skills that you can put on your resume that will help you get for future jobs. It's a really, really powerful thing to be able to earn money. And going back to that first point about kind of reclaiming your life, having money and being able to earn your own money to pay for stuff is also a very empowering place to come from. And I think that that is something that a lot of the young people that I talk with are really looking for when they're talking about independence. They want to be responsible for things in their lives and financial responsibility and financial independence is one way to feel empowered and to take control of your life. So 
financial independence and working and making sure that you are in a good financial place is another amazing reason to consider taking a gap year this year. Now, the last one that I want to touch on for just this quick summary kind of general things, everybody's got their own individual ones, but as a whole, there's, this is a great time to put yourself first. So uh, let's be honest, as a student, you have been working your butt off to get the grades that you need, to get to graduation. You've been working jobs, volunteering, helping out at home with your siblings, doing the sports, doing the clubs, doing all of the things. And that is something that sometimes grown-ups don't appreciate is how hard students work. It's around the clock. Sometimes grown-ups have a nine-to-five job and then they get to go into relax mode and you essentially have a nine-to-five job at school and then you're also expected to do your homework and hold down a part-time job and um, still have a social life and do all the homework and, and, and do it over and over again, day in and day out. And even on the weekends, there are projects to be done, group assignments to work on. And you've been doing this for 14 years. So while the pressures and stresses of being a high school student are different than those of a grown up, it doesn't mean that they are any less. And I want both students and, and parents and grown ups to hear that, that that those stresses that you are, experience are, ver- are experiencing are very, very real. And sometimes we need to take a break from all of those stresses. So 2022-2023 is a great time to take a year for yourself. Now, when I say this, I'm not talking about being selfish and having a year of people wait on you hand and foot and taking bubble baths. This is That's not what I'm talking about when I talk about a year to yourself. I'm talking about a year to actually figure out who you are. So when I was talking about all those stresses and all of those responsibilities you have as a student, it makes the world very noisy and things move really, really quick. And sometimes when all of those things are happening simultaneously, we can lose ourselves. We can get lost in the routines and the need to get marks and the social drama that's happening at school. And we're in this race to achieve and to perform. And sometimes we forget who we are as people. And that can be a problem, especially as you are moving into adulthood. Because that person who you were in grade eight is not who you are today, is not who you're going to be next year. And sometimes with all of those other things swirling around us, we don't have the time and space to connect and to listen to ourselves. So taking a gap year gives you that time to slow down, to mute out all that noise for a very, very small second while you figure out what your life's next steps are. And a year in the grand scheme of your life is not a big deal. A year seems like a long time when you're 17, but I'm coming from a 39 year old, a year is not a long time. To be able to take that intentional time is going to help you so much. I don't want to understate how moving out of your teen years into adulthood is a big deal. You are choosing the direction of your life. Now, Now, it doesn't have to be final, it doesn't have to be concrete, But you're going to start to make some decisions in your life that are going to affect the the trajectory that you're on and not define it, but but make steps in a direction. And so that's a big deal. But do you actually know what you want? And when I talk to a lot of young people, they actually don't know. And when I ask them to sit down and think about it, they don't actually know what they want. They maybe know what their best grades are. They maybe know what jobs have good reputations or earn the most money. But what they actually want to do still remains a little bit of a mystery for a lot of young people. 
And I would say even those that have a direction, they don't actually know what that job does. So who actually knows what an engineer does or a computer programmer or a doctor or audiologist or general contractor? Who knows what their day to day looks like and what skills they use? And is that something that actually jives with who you are? And is it a job that you would even like to do? I think we we don't in high school have really enough time to think about all these things because you've been rushing between all your other obligations and responsibilities. And in making those decisions, you're making a $27,000 decision. Are you $27,000 confident in the decision that you're making about your post-secondary? Because that's the average tuition cost of four years of university. And that's just the tuition. So don't even, not even counting the books and the residence and the food and the living expenses. So it is an expensive decision. And I want you to feel confident that you are heading in a direction. And it's okay to need some time before you make that decision. And it's okay to need some time to figure it out. In actuality, it's wise to slow down and you're actually more likely to make a better decision for your future. So in theory, this sounds like a good idea, but in talking with hundreds of young people, I know that there are thoughts in your head that are holding you back saying, I think I want this, but, 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 and those buts can be what actually hold us back. So When students are coming to me exploring this idea of a gap year next year, they're often saying very similar things. So I hear three things. I hear, I don't want to fall behind my peers. I don't want to waste more time. And what will I even be able to do on my gap year? So those are the three things that are holding people back, even though they feel like it's it's probably the right decision for them. So Let's talk about those just while we're talking about the benefits of a gap year and how this plays into 2022, 2023. So that first of all, that idea of falling behind, who are you following, falling behind and what is the rush? Are you racing towards, I don't know, a career? Are you racing towards retirement? Are you racing towards a student debt? So I'm going to put on my 39 year old hat again here uh, just for a second, but Now is the time to explore. Now is the time to do the things that you want to do. Uh, If you want to travel or start a business or take time to focus on yourself, do it now. So many people think that they want to do it and they, they, they delay it until after graduating university. And guess what? (laughs) Once they graduate, all of a sudden their student loans are due. They feel like they're pressured to get a job and it's so much harder to do these things. It's so much harder to take a gap year after you've graduated. And so folks then will delay it a little bit more and then all of a sudden they've got a mortgage or they've got a dog or uh, they have a family or a job they can't leave. So now is truly time to take advantage of your freedom from some of those other responsibilities and debts and to take that time to figure out and to put your best foot forward for your future. Let me hit you up with some stats here and some facts. So the Gap Year Association out of the U.S. actually found that students who took a gap year actually graduated in fewer years on average than their non-gapping peers. So when you say you're falling behind, a lot of students actually pick the wrong program when they go directly into post-secondary and they end up switching majors three or four times, which extends the number of years they're in university. So not only are they taking longer, but they're also spending more money. So why do gap year students graduate in fewer years? Well, you're more likely to make a better choice for your future. You're more likely to have that time and space to think about what is the best step for you. You're more likely to say, you know what, just because I got the best grades in it doesn't mean I actually like it. And you're more likely to choose the right program. You're also more likely to be more serious about your studies now that you know what you're working for instead of just doing what you think is expected of you. 
I can also say that in 2020, Brainstorm Strategy Group found that 33% of students had taken time off between high school and post-secondary. One third of them. So you are not going to be behind. You are not going to be behind anyone uh, by taking a gap year. And, and while it can feel that way, I can guarantee you that that is not going to be the case three or four years from now. You will feel that you have sorted everything out and you will actually leapfrog uh, ahead of a lot of your peers. Let's jump into that second fear or that second hesitation in 2022, 2023. Uh, That idea of wasting time. And this is really acute right now because the last two years have felt a little bit like a write-off. Um, We all have this desire to move forward, to move past the pandemic, to feel a sense of accomplishment or progress or something new. And that is totally fair. We're all feeling that. And in all honesty, you can waste your time on a gap year, but you can also waste your time at university or college. So how you spend your time, it's up to you. And the value you're going to get out of your time, that's up to you no matter what you choose. If you're going to show up at school just to check boxes, barely passing, getting grades so you can graduate, uh, it's not time or money well spent, especially today when a degree does not guarantee you a job. Checking those boxes is not going to put you closer to anything in your in your in your goals. You can waste your time no matter where you are. But if you spend your gap time purposefully, it will pay dividends. You will not regret this time. On your gap year, you can further your career. You can take care of your mental health. You can explore your interests. You can see the world. If you want, you can even earn credits towards your gap year. You can do that while traveling. You can do that in another province. You can do it at home. There are so many options for a well-spent gap year. Now, the last challenge of not knowing what you can do on your gap year, I'll give you the short answer. The short answer is you can do anything. But that answer is not helpful to you. It's not helpful to help you start to imagine what your year could look like. But we do have some amazing sample gap year plans up on our website that you can check out to start to understand what your year could look like. And they're not going to be the exact perfect one for you, but it will get you thinking outside of the box. Your gap year is not about you sitting on the couch for a year. It's about you setting concrete goals and working towards them. We have a ton of amazing gap year programs on our website website that you can check out as well. So many resources right there to help you start to see what this time could look like. Each gap year is so unique towards each gapper's goals. So no two are going to look alike. You can lean into sports or the arts or business. Some people spend their time on self-discovery or personal wellness. Some want to travel, some want to learn a language, some want to build community, and everybody wants to figure out what their next steps in their career are. Um, and, and even earning money and reducing student debt, the, the possibilities of your gap year are endless. 2022, 2023 can be your year. You can lean into it, make it your own. Take control of your life and launch yourself into an amazing year. And while this may seem scary, CanGap is here to help you. I am here to help you. Jazz is here to help you. We have an incredible community of online gappers. Some of them are current gappers. Some of them are gap year alum. Some are folks are even just in the decision making process. Should I take a gap year or not? Come and join us in that community and you can meet up with others and learn what they're up to. Come and join us in our Discord server. It's called Gapper Connect. You can find it at cangab.ca slash Gapper Connect. We'll put the link in the show notes here for you. And if you want one-on-one support, if if the community is not right for you or you're a parent and you want to have a conversation with an expert, you can always book a free 30-minute call with our team so we can help you to start to imagine how your purposeful gap year will shape out. We want you to make sure it is going to be the right tool for you at the right time. 
So we can help you to see your year ahead and one that is going to excite you, one that's going to make you smile, one that's going to make your friends jealous and a year that will help you define the rest of your life in a very positive way. We can't wait to help you and CanGap is here on your side cheering you on. So until next time, my friends, keep on adventuring.